Hey YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel web for all things geeky and cool, and welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I talked briefly about it on a prior video I put out a few days ago about picking up a set of booster boxes. As you can see here, three different boxes that I have purchased. I'm opening one box right now. I'm gonna be holding and sitting on two of these other boxes. I did a test run video to see how my camera rig would look, how the lighting would look, and it looked okay. Just to hit home the point and really nail the subject, this is not my specialty in any stretch of the imaginations. I handle action figure reviews, toy unboxing videos, Funko reviews, statue reviews, things like that. Magic the Gathering is not my specialty in any way, shape, or form. So I'm gonna be doing a full unboxing of a box here from start to finish. I'm gonna be looking specifically for the uncommons and the rares and the mythics. There are three particular cards three of them, that we're chasing. We're looking for the Vorinclex card, which is a green card. I'll put a picture on the screen for you. We're looking for Aliska, or Leska, the, uh, it's a green, other green card, very, very powerful card. And we're looking for Valky. Those are the three real chase cards that we're really looking to get our hands on. The more mythic cards, the better. I'm not gonna open these two boxes. These ones are gonna be put aside here. I'm gonna be going for this one right here. That's what I decided to do. Uh, this one here, again, is a full sealed box of uh, Kaldheim. All the ice sets I mentioned before in the test video, usually, here's the NC number if you're curious which box I'm going to be opening. Um, if this is a god box or not, that I don't know. I'm not quite sure if this is one of the god boxes or not. This is a legit box. It is does have the counterfeit protection, which is the Wizards of the Coast shrink wrap that you see here. So let's get into it now, guys. Hopefully we'll get something very, very good uh, when we break into this box. Uh, I have my scissors here with me. Hopefully I don't destroy many cards. I'm gonna try to keep everything on the mat here. Uh, so let's get into it. I'm only gonna focus again on the uncommon, the rares, and the mythic rares. That's all we're gonna be doing here. The video is gonna run a little bit long. It's probably gonna run at least, I'm thinking 20 minutes possibly longer. I would advise grabbing a drink um, and let's get into it now. Let me fix this light because it's a little bit bright on this side. Let me turn it down a little bit. It's a little bit on the bright side. So and a little bit more. Let's see how it looks here. Right about there. Good. So we're looking for the Valky card, which is this guy right here where T-Bolt is his name. That's what we're really hoping for. So let's crack into these packs here. Uh, price point for these guys are um, about, the box itself, I ordered three of them, it was about uh, $93 a box when I ordered three from the particular website I ordered them from. I'm hoping to pull, as I mentioned before, we're looking for uh, the uncommons and the rares and mythic rares. So I'm going to go through these pretty quickly, guys. I'm not going to really stop and worry about the commons or, on, uh, or you know, the commons cards, not so much. We're going to put those aside and not really worry about them. Uh, here we go here, uncommons, here's a, um, a saga. Uh, if I see any showcases, I'll stop so you can see those showcase cards. We have a foil here, it looks like. Uh, Saga here, this is a rare card. Hopefully it comes across good on camera. It looks pretty good right there. Let's fix this light also. It's a little bit on the bright side there. Turn it down a little bit here. And here's our first one. Uh, I can tell you now it's not a god box because if it was a god box, this card would be a mythic rare. Uh, that's how the god boxes look to be allocated. They're very hard to get a god box. So uh, we have uh, uh, Iska's Chariot. Very cool. This is a card that you would be, it's a modal card if you're using this as a placeholder. Um, nothing good there, but this is Iska's Chariot foil card. Hopefully we can get some more foil rares here. So let's put those up here so you can see what we got. Uh, this card can come out as a common. So we're looking for the uh, uncommons and the rares. Leave the foils right there on the screen. Good. Next pack here. Again, we're going to blow you through these as quick as I possibly can go. Hopefully we'll get some good stuff. As I mentioned before, we're not focusing too much on the commons and uncommon cards. This is not, again, my specialty. Uh, I don't normally do uh, Magic the Gathering openings, but I figured since this is a uh, brand new set, and as I mentioned before, that the uh, ice sets are usually go up in value, so I picked up several of them to keep as investments. So our first uncommon here, second uncommon, third uncommon, Ooh, we got our first uh, Mythic Rare, Alrun, God of Cosmos. This is what they call a mobile card. You can tell by this right here. I'll get a closer shot of it so you can see what it looks like here. It's a two-faced card. Usually one side is most of the time for gods. Um, usually they're artifacts or, or they're, they're double-sided. So a lot of them have artifact abilities, but this one he turns into a bird. Very cool blue card here. So you play either this face side or this face side here. Uh, really cool card here. So we got our first Mythic Rare right there. Uh, we have another land, and we have another foil 
We have a foil on common on this one, so we'll keep the foils right there. I'm not concerned too much really about the order and a, another uh, token card is a shard card for one of the uh, Mythic Planeswalkers. Not bad so far. Decent pulls, nothing really to write home about as far as super value. We're looking for that Vorinclex again. We're looking for Eska. This is her chariot, Eska's chariot. This is her chariot. Uh, so we're looking for her specifically because she is a very, very powerful card. One of the higher end cards in the set. So that's who we're really looking for. Another uh, ad card right here. Here's an ad card, Finite Magic, which they don't do that anymore because of the pandemic. Again, we're not worrying about the basic common cards. The uncommons are what we're really looking for. So we got this one, that one, uncommon land. And everyone usually gets these reckless crew cards. A lot of people pull those. And we have another foil card. It's probably foils every pack so far. This is a common foil. You can tell it's a foil by the way it's reflecting light. And there's, I believe, uh, 36 packs in a booster pack. Uh, excuse me, a booster box or booster draft box like the one I have here. And you can tell it's a draft box because it says it right here on the side. It says draft box. So that's how you know it's a draft box. Usually they have 36 packs uh, in a box. Again, I'm going to zip through the commons. Not really worried about those. We haven't got any um, showcases yet to talk about. Uh, those are the kind of alternate arts. Hopefully we'll pull some soon so you can see what they look like. Harold, the King of Skemar, Blizzard Brawl, uh, Skemfer's Elder Hall, and we have the Battle of Bredegard. Again, this is a Saga card. You do this effect first on the first turn, then this effect on the second turn, then this effect on the third turn, and then the card's destroyed. Land and a add card for Icy Manipulator. I'm surprised they, or actually Icy Manolith, not Icy Manipulator. Get your facts straight, Rook, get your facts straight. Icy Manolith, I was thinking of Icy Manipulator. It's an older, older card. Like I said, you used to play Magic years ago, a long, long, long time ago. So again, go through the basic cards. We don't care about those. We care about the uncommon cards. Rune of Might. Runes are something new now. Uh, Bloodline Pretender, Finn of the Fangbearer, and we have a Cosmia, God of the Voyage. So this is another modal card, and this is an artifact on this side. So I'm thinking maybe the rare gods, or the uh, mythic gods, are just creatures possibly, or another form while the rare versions of them are, because this is a god, legendary, and this is a god, so they're both gods, two different characters. So this is a god on one side and an artifact on the other. Not bad so far, again, another snow-covered island and a treasure token card. So far, the box is okay. I've seen a lot of openings, but I'm not seeing a huge amount of value yet. I'm hoping that we pull something decent out of this one box. Okay, we're going to go starting again from the Uncommons and work our way down. Return of the Tide. Another Saga. Poison of the Cup. And Cycle, Cyclone Summoner. A lot of people pull this one too. Another land card and another modal card you can write on. If you were curious, this is a dual land. This is both a snow card. This is a snow land, both a forest and island. So it produces both green or blue mana whenever you need it to. So it's a, think of it like the original dual lands that we saw, uh, let's, say in, let's say in Alpha, Beta, or uh, Unlimited, or Revised, but they're much slower. They don't come in the same, you can't use them the same turn they come in, because they come in play tapped. So it's a little slower than your normal uh, dual land, but it works like a dual land. Okay, again, more commons. We get to our uncommon slot right here. Uh, Fearless Liberator, Valkyrie Sword, Crush the Weak, and our rare or mythic is Starheim Unleashed. So we had a mythic number two here. So we had two mythic cards. Foil Land. Usually, um, as far as foil, as far as mythic goes, you're looking at about approximately used to be about three to four mythics in a mythic box in a box like this they have upped the ratio of getting mythic cards it's a little higher now i've seen people pull about five to seven mythics out of a box so we're again looking for boring clips iska and valky those are the ones that we're still looking for hopefully we can pull them another pack here let's keep going got our okay here's our very first showcase I've, I've not seen a lot of showcases yet so here's what the showcase art would look like it's completely different than normal artwork um it's a 
bit stylized. They have these sort of uh, cool columns. You got dragons right here. Very stylized version of the card compared to a normal card. Looks completely different. That's how you know you have a showcase card. And they come in different rarities. This happens to be an uncommon showcase card. They have showcases in, I know at least uncommons, rares, and mythic rares. I'm not sure about the common slot, but they do have uh, at least showcases in those slots. I do apologize for the last video. I missed this particular card, this card here in the very first pack I opened, and I completely missed the point of it being a showcase. So that one, Basalt Ravager, this is a rare or a mythic rare. We have Blood on the Snow. And another Snowland and a Dwarven Berserker token card. So far, again, not the greatest box from what I've seen. Again, I've watched a lot of uh, box openings and they, this looks to be very typical for most boxes. Um, I'm not seeing a massive amount of value. Let's move the camera down just a smidge. There we go. I'm not seeing a huge uh, amount of value so far here. Again, all commons out of the way. You guys don't want to see that. It's going to waste time. Coming over here again. Hopefully you guys do like this unboxing if you want me to do more of these down the road. Uh, the next one I'm probably going to do is probably not going to be Strixhaven, which is the School of Mages, which is the uh, Magic the Gathering kind of version of Harry Potter. I don't think they're even going to have Harry Potter or not. They haven't decided this. Uh, so we're not quite sure. Uh, those are the uncommons. And we have Blessing of the Frost. But the section, the, the box I will be picking boxes up for will definitely be, um, it's called, uh, I think it's called The Legacy of Forgotten Realms. Uh, that one definitely I will be picking that up. Absolutely 100% picking that up. I'll be doing an unboxing of that because I'm a big fan of d and Used to play it years ago and have... <laughs> Of kind of a, a crossover between Magic Gathering and D&D. Absolutely is something uh, I would, will be picking up, 100%. So again, uh, we start at our uncommon slot here. We got Draeger's Helm. We got Lajara's Glade Warden. We have uh, Binding of the Old Gods. And we have a rare, I think we just pulled one of those already. Did we pull one of those already? Yep, this is our second battle of Bred Bredegard. So unfortunately, this is a duplicate here. And we have a foil, Ravenous land, uh, Lindworm here. So here's our foil. We've pulled a decent amount of foil so far, which is kind of surprising. I didn't think we'd pull that many uh, foils. Almost done with stacks on the left side. So far, not too bad, but again, not too great. Uh, I've seen much better boxes pulled. Uh, but again, this is my very first box doing it on the channel. So um, it is what it is. And hopefully get some value out of these cards. Hopefully we'll, we'll get some value added up here. So far, not a whole lot of value. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. And we have a Mark Wood Nexus. We pulled one of those in our first two packs that we did. We did both booster box like these ones and we did set boosters. And we got our land card and we got our self control warrior token. So here's our Mark Wood Nexus uh, artifact card. So, so far, not the greatest box. We've gotten only two mythic rares. And quite frankly, they're not the best ones. So hopefully we'll get, hopefully the box will pick up speed and we'll get some better stuff shortly. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. Again, it's at close to about 13 minutes right now, 12, 13 minutes. And as I said, it's gonna be at least a 20 minute video, maybe longer, probably close to like 30 or 40 the way I'm going here. So I'm trying to go quick, but I'm trying to uh, pick the pace. Cyclone Summoner, uh, I think we've got one of those already too. Another Snowland and a Giant Wizard token. Starting in the middle now, also, we're looking for that Planeswalker that you see right there in that one pack. Here, her. We're looking for her as well. She's not as expensive. We haven't pulled any Planeswalkers yet. Okay. That was the same one we got, but for foil. And we're starting here. Again, I'm rushing through all the common cards. You guys don't want to see that. Giant's Amulet. Lajara's Mirror Lake. Replicating Ring and our rare our mythic is In Search of Greatness. This is a very powerful card. It, it's gonna, if, if it's not used now, in the future, this will highly be sought after, I guarantee. It's a very, very strong card. So Covered Swamp and another Elf Warrior token right there. Moving on. I think her name is Kaya. Kaya, Kaya? I think it's her right here. Um, it's not the first time she's appeared. She's appeared in other sets before, but this is, the, this is a very powerful version of her as a Planeswalker. So a uh, very, very cool card here. Let's kind of move those stacks up a little bit here. Move our Mythic Rares right there. Perfect. 
keep going going through the common super quick and we're getting the forging of the tyrite sword uncommon we have provoke the trolls we have not void slumber mound and our rare mythic is reflections of Lajara, which is not that great and no rare there's no uh foil in that one as I mentioned, we're going to zip through it. Hopefully, we get the the, um, the Valky, which is the card you see on that pack right here. This is a uh, T Bolt, but he's also known as Valky. He's basically in the skies, quote unquote, in uh, on Kaldheim. So hopefully, we get him. Oh, it looks like we've got a showcase now. So we have our uncommon. Here's another showcase: the Mortrite of the Frost. Very cool looking frame. As I mentioned, the frame looks completely different. We haven't pulled any of the uh, modal dual land, the modal dual face cards either uh, for the lands. We haven't gotten any of those yet. Dwarven Hammer. I uh, got Vorin Clicks. Woo! Big hit right here, guys. This is one of the most expensive cards in the set. People are absolutely chasing after Vorin Clicks Monstrous Raider. They want this card badly. Woo! Very happy about that pull right there and there's also let me go back to Vorn clicks real quick here they have this guy in multiple art forms they have him in showcase they also have what they call the phyrexian language because he's a phyrexian praetor you see the name right here these are kind of bad guys that they basically think of it sort of like they're borgs they assimilate things that's kind of the idea of, them, of these guys but they had a version of a foil version of this card with the phyrexian language all over the card which the language you can't read is a weird script that's the most expensive version of Vorinclex. We have this and we have a, uh, another foil card there. So this box really just amped up in value 100% by pulling Vorinclex. That's the card that everyone is chasing after is that guy right there. So I'm very happy to pull him. Again, we're close to a little bit over the 16, 17 minute mark right now. And we're about halfway done. This is probably gonna be about 30 to 45 minutes the way I'm looking at it right here. Hopefully you guys stick around through the entire video again. This is something that I'm not very familiar with doing. The, the, the camera may be a little bit sketchy right now. The light might be off. Again, I do apologize for those kind of issues or problems. This is not my my norm before, before, as far as shooting video goes. So we have uncommons here. So we have a Battle Shield Warrior. We have Shepherd of the Cosmos. We have the Emmerstrom Skull Karn. And we have a, another God card, Brigie, God of Storytelling. So you have this side of her right here. You turn her over and she's an artifact. So you play either version of this. When you cast this spell, you either play this side or you play this side. The cost is different. And you can tell it's modal by this little symbol in the corner right here. If you have this right here, you know it's a modal card. So very, very cool, uh, rare. Very happy to pull her. So you got one of the three cards we've wanted to pull so far. It'd be nice to pulling the Velky, nice to getting the Iska or Eska. It's, it's, she's a very, very expensive card. Uh, he, though, is the most expensive card, I want to say, in the set, maybe next to Valky. Those are the two most expensive cards in the entire set. And those are the ones that everyone are chasing after. And I'm happy to pull a Vorinclex. Uh, it's a very, very cool card. So we have Great Hall of Starheim, we have Cardar's Vicious Return, we have the Inga Rune Eyes, and our rare or mythic rare is another uh, Saga, Fajora's Retribution, a land and a, another token card. So nothing in this deck except for the Vorinclex so far has been real you know, profitable as far as actual physical financial value, let's say on the secondary market, nothing super uh, pricey yet. A couple, uh, maybe four or five dollar cards, but nothing that, that would make you go, oh, that's super valuable. So, except for the Vorinclex. That is the, the money card so far. So, we have Tegrid Shadow. We have Nico Defies Destiny. We have Poison the Cup. And our rare mythic is Crippling Fear on this one. And another land. And that's it on that one. So, the middle one's been the best so far. That's been the uh, that's been the, uh, the the home run is in the middle. So we only gotten three mythics. I'm thinking well, hopefully we will get one more out this side and probably two more on that column on that stack right there. I'm hoping. So we'll go through again the commons, going as quick as I possibly can. Move at the side. We have Rune Crown. We have Rune of More uh, Mortality. We have Rootless View, 
The draw and commons and our rare mythic is Ascendant Spirit. This card, I've read the card, it's a very, very strong rare. I can see this card in months going up in value. It's very, very cheap right now, but it's a very powerful card. I like the way it looks, very, very strong. So that goes right there, we have this card, and we have another foil. We have Path of the World Tree. Um, the World Tree is also a land card, which is a very powerful card. Um, Yggdrasil, I think it's called for I mean, the Valkyrie term or, or the Viking term. Yggdrasil, I think it is. That's like for Thor and things like that. Um, very, very powerful card. Very, very cool. Hard to get. I heard a lot of people don't pull them that often. So I'm hoping that we actually pull one here. Again, I'm only opening one box. I'm sitting on the other two. Um, mainly, again, for value the financial return because I can see those boxes. 100% going up in value. Usually snow cover or ice based themes like this set usually goes up super super financial in, in you know you gotta sit it on a few years but it doubles or triples in price so we go to our uncommons we got the colossal plow we had one in the first set of boosters we looked at as well right here we have the Borel outrider Another uncommon, Frost Augur, and our rare or mythic is Jorn of the Winter. Again, this is a showcase piece. We had one in the very first box we did, first uh, set of packs. Uh, the frame, is you can see it's different here, and you flip it over. This is what it looks like. This is an artifact, so not a bad card. The, I like the showcases. They look really, really cool. Dwarven Berserker and Arctic Tree Line in that pack there get the next one here so we only gotten three mythics so far but that phyrexian monstrous raider is it's again the card i keep kind of hounding on it i hate to, to beat the proverbial dead horse but that's the one that everyone is really looking for and wants to get their hands on because that's the most expensive card in the set at least from what i've seen and, and, and even valky is very very pricey too so again we go to our uncommons i know this guy here is a uh, showcase he has a showcase version of this card Frenzied Raider, we've got Vengeful Reaper, and we got Tyrite Sanctum. We haven't pulled any modal lands yet, so which is kind of weird. And we have a Welcome to Arena, which is just an ad card. We've talked about those ad cards before. Uh, keep going. I'm surprised I haven't pulled any of those modal lands. Usually you, you see people pulling them all the time, and I haven't seen any of them. Usually they have, they have like borderless uh, versions of them. We haven't pulled any borderless cards, I think, yet which means the entire frame has the artwork. There's no border. It looks really, really cool. It's really different looking, very striking. When you look at all the cards, it looks way different than the other ones. So not bad so far. We're at 22 minutes here so far. Another uncommon rune of speed, Frostpire Arcanist, and we have Dream Devour on that one. Another ad card for treasure token. And that there, we're on almost done with the middle pack. And we've gotten, as I mentioned, only uh, three mythic rares so far. Kind of surprising there. Keep going. Okay, we got our first set of uncommons. We have a foil on the back. Might be another Tybalt trickery. Um, that's a very, very busted card. It's already, uh, I think it was banned in historic uh, uh, set, in the historic uh, uh, version of Magic. That type of uh, version of how you play the game. They've already banned the Tybalt trickery in that one, as far as I believe yesterday. So we have Bow, we have Spectral Steel, or, or we have Myth Mystic Reflection. This is turning into a very powerful card as well. A lot of people are looking for this card. So that one's going to be uh, a real soft after card. And we have the Asgard Cavalry. And we have another Elf Warrior and our Sulfurous Mine there token. Moving on to the last set, we'll kind of move this guy in the middle. One of our, near our last booster. What do you guys pull in your boxes? Hit me up in the comment section, please. Let me know what you pulled. Again, this video is running out a bit longer because we're opening all these packs. And again, I could be sitting here talking. That's T Bolt if you were trying to figure out who that guy is. That's Tybalt right there. Um, I could make this go much longer, but I'm trying to go through all the important stuff. Here's Nafari Petrera King, another showcase. Um, very cool looking artwork. I've only pulled a few showcases. That's kind of surprising. Spirit of Aldergard. We got the Clarion Spirit here, and a rare mythic is we got another showcase, but we have uh, Magada Brazen Outlaw. Nice card, looks really, really cool. She is not a uh, modal card, so if you flipped her over, it's just a normal Magic the Gathering card on the back. So very cool to get a showcase rare. We've only gotten two of those so far. And another uh, Replicated Ring ad card on the other side, and our land. So going down to this, we have, again, we only pulled three mythic rares. I'm hoping to get at least another one or two. Hopefully, because normally, like I said, you normally pull in these boxes about, normally it's about four to six mythic rares in a box. That's usually the number I've seen. Before it was usually you're guaranteed four, three to four mythic rares in a box. 
So hopefully we get something nice and spicy in the next set of packs here. Basalt Ravager, Fajoro Judge of Valor. That's the uh, Fajoro we saw in the Uncommon section, I believe. But this is what her normal artwork would look like. We have the Dragor's Helm. We got Igron, God of Death, as our rare card here. He is a modal card. So you have the artifact on one side, the god on the other side. He is not indestructible, so he can be killed by normal removal. And we have Wither Crown, a foil card. You see it right there. And we have the Icy Mandalith again, and a snow-covered swamp. So the snow, the snow lands I can see going up in value big time because usually they're hard to get a hold of. As you see, I'm pulling uh, either a snow-covered dual land or a snow land every pack. But most of the time, the snow lands are going to be very, very valuable in, in let's say, further, when newer sets come out, those particular lands are going to go up in value, even just the basic lands themselves. Again, we're going to zip through the basic cards and stop at the uncommons. We have the Asgard Armory. We have Fearless Liberator. The Three Seasons. And our rare mythic is the Sorful's Realm Eater. They have a showcase, I think it's either a showcase alternate art or just a showcase art, which is a little different. Uh, it's a big bad wolf. It's a very, very powerful wolf card. I kind of get close up here. Oop, there we go there. Very cool card. Like the way this guy works. It's a very, very neat card. So we, our rare goes there and we have our token card and our forest. Man, we're not hitting any more Mythics. We only hit those three Mythics so far. That's a bit surprising. I'm almost surprised we only pulled three Mythics so far. We've been past all the filler, all the bulk. That's what they call it. They call it bulk. That's usually common cards. So we have Avalanche Caller, Crush the Weak, Gates of Israel, and a rare Mythic is another Cosmo Charger. So far, not great. Forest and an Elf Warrior card. Again, no modal cards. We've not hit any land cards in this entire box. I'm very, very surprised by that. I wouldn't know what the... Is this a good, considered a good box or a bad box because we got the Voren Clicks? I don't know if you would call this, you know, a very good box or a very bad box. I, I, I'd say it's probably middle of the road, I would assume. But again, I don't know. Uh, we have a, a foil card back here. Let's see what we got here. We have Return Upon the Tide, Clarion Spirit, and our rare mythic is Calamity Bearer. And we have a foil rare god on this one. We have Sigri God of Favored. Sigri God of Favored, rather. So he's not dual-sided. Again, he's only one side card, but very, very cool uh, god card. And we had a basic land there, or snow-covered land. Again, I have not pulled any more than those three mythics this is kind of on the weird side get our add card here which will be a token let's move through the basic stuff try to keep it all nice and packed tight let's see what we get here we got weathered the runestone artifact bloodline pre uh, pretender another valkyrie sword and a rare mythic is a extended what well, is considered a borderless uh, pathway card. It's a dual card. It's a modal card. As I mentioned before, we finally pulled one. It's a black and red card. So it's black on this side, red on this side. That's what it produces. So we did have a borderless rare, uh, borderless land card. So it was our very first one we pulled. So finally pulled one. Um, usually they give, I think it's like a, you get one of these extended art uh, borderless cards. I like one per box from what I've seen. At least from most openings. Um, that's our first one we've gotten. So another one of these right there so let's go real quick again we're at the 28 minute mark okay the vega watcher is another card that they have a showcase for the owl this guy here we have divine gambit saw it coming and a rare mythic card is a realm walker also known as the box card buy a box the buy a box promos when you bought the box of cards which i didn't get any of these but if you go into let's say a normal lgs or local game store this when you buy a box is supposed to give you one of these cards so i didn't get that when i bought my box because i bought it online so unfortunately i did not have that luxury we're down to only a few packs left i think four or five packs here guys so hopefully we get another mythic because we only pulled three mythics in this box and at least we got the boring click so hopefully we get at least one more that would be nice we're going through hopefully get at least another one of the high-end cards rune of might 
is our first uncommon. Rune of Sustenance is another uncommon. Thin Fang Bearer, which is a legendary card, but they also have a showcase for this guy. And we have Search for Glory. And a Warrior Token. And another land. And it's a rare there. I'm smelling not good. Only four packs left, guys. At least we got the Vorinclex. I can't, I can't be too disappointed since we got the Vorinclex. I can't be too hurt or upset because that's made the price of this box. That, this card here is probably close to about half the price of the box alone. He's, I think, a tw I want to say he's either a $29.99 card or a $39.99 card. One of the two costs. He is extremely hard to get. He is a mythic rare. He is very powerful. We'll showcase him off at the end of the video. So if you wanted to see what he did, I'll, I'll show the case him off definitely. Our first uncommon, Binding the Old Gods, Ascent of the Worthy, and our rare our mythic is another Saga, Bearers of Lajara. Not great, I'm pulling too many of the Saga cards. Elf Warrior and our land card. I'm pulling way too many of the Sagas. I've got I think three or four of them in the rare slot alone. We've gotten way too many of these Sagas. Uh, not a big fan of it. It's, there's a couple Sagas that are very powerful, but I'm not seeing a huge uh, amount of great ones here. So again, we're gonna go through the common cards. We're gonna stop Path of the World Tree. Be nice if we get a World Tree, which is a rare card. We get a Usher of the Fallen. Right there, let's kind of go down a little more so we can get into the shot. I'll move a little bit over here. Usher Fallen, Glimpse of the Cosmos, and our rare mythic is the Cosmic Elixir. Everybody seems to get this card, not sure why. Our land card and our token, but everyone seems to pull one of these guys. Our third pack to the end. Again, thanks for sticking with me through the entire video, guys. Um, if you want me to do more of these openings, please let me know. I, again, I'm not the greatest Magic the Gathering unboxer in any stretch of the imagination, but I do what I can. Again, this is not my main uh, form of content on the channel, but I just want to do something a little bit different. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it is running a bit long, as I mentioned before. So our first uncommon is Ice Bind Pillar. Our next one is Skim Force Shadow Sage. Our next one is Dual Strike for Uncommon, and our rare mythic is... Ty Bolt's Trickery, the banned card historic. Cards breaking all sorts of formats. Everybody is either breaking this card or abusing the hell out of it. So cool card there. And we have a uncommon foil binding of the old guard. Old gods rather. So land card and another bad card. So we have our down to our last two packs. Again, thank you for sticking with me through the entire video. It did run a bit longer. I figured it would be over 20 minutes long. Um, and that's how these videos go for unboxings. I zip through them as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, I figured this would be the, the easiest way to do it. A lot of people do it this way when they do unboxings. They, they focus specifically on the uncommons and the rares. Another uh, showcase card. This is the Cardar Doom Scourge. He normally doesn't look like this. Again, he's a showcase art. P cool looking card though. Hailstorm Valkyrie. Doom Scar Titan. And our rare or mythic is a... Full Art Alrin's Epiphany, a final, we got another um, Mythic Rare, pull the ad card away here, the land card away. This is a extended art, full art basically, it's basically a full art card. Alrin's Epiphany, single-sided Mythic Rare card right there. So we've gotten at least four Mythic Rares in the box. I can't, I can't complain, I can't complain. They're not the greatest Mythic Rares, with the exception of Vorinclex. Um, it'd be nice if we hit one more in this pack to close out the box. I doubt it though. Having uh, four strong Mythic Rares is what you normally get out of these boxes. I've seen people pull a lot more. Uh, if you get the Collector Boosters, that's every card in the entire booster pack is foil. They go for about 20, like 20, 25 bucks a, a pack. They're extremely expensive to buy a full box of them. They come in, a bo or they come in boxes of 12, uh, they come in boxes of 12, car uh, 12 packs. And they're very, very expensive. They're like 250 bucks, you know, 280 bucks a box. You only get 12 packs, but every single card is a uh, is a foil card, and you get like chances for rares. You can get up to four rares or, or combination of rare mythic rares in every pack, so you get more cards. So we got another uh, showcase right here. We have the Agar Freezing Flame blue red card. We have the Cole the Forge Master. We have Soltran. Uh, Frostpire, and this is our last pack, guys. So this is our last rare mythic rare, and we pull 
to end it with the Ims from Predator, which is a vampire dragon card. So that's our last pack, guys. Um, again, as far as uh, value goes, it's all on Vorinclex. This guy here is extremely powerful. And basically what he does is he costs two green mana, four colors of any color. He is a mythic rare, legendary creature, Phyrexian Praetor. He has Trample and Haste. If you would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, put twice that many of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player. If an opponent put one or more counters on a permanent or player, they put half that amount instead. So he doubles your values and he halves the opponent. So that's why this card is extremely powerful and valuable. So we got four mythic rares, can't really complain about that. A nice little stack of foils, <laughs> some foil rares, uncommon, well, uncommons over here, it's a big old stack of uncommons, and a rares over here. So I hope you do like this unboxing video. I hope you'll please give it a like so it'll be sent across the YouTube platform so other people can watch this content and hopefully get behind it and say whether or not they want me to do more of these videos in the future. Again, please let me know in the comment section. And again, remember to click that like button on the page, click the subscribe button, it's a picture of my face, a big circle. When you subscribe to the channel, click the bell, kind of be notified of my latest videos. And of course, last but not least, you can click Windows over here and over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. See you next video. And bye-bye.